one, I said earlier that GBOMS stands for these foods that have unique properties that contain special phytochemicals that prevent cancer. And those foods are, of course, greens, referring particularly to the cruciferous green vegetables like kale and collards and mustard greens and turnip greens and cabbage and, you know, that we should be eating. And, and beans, if we discussed that in the previous presentation. And onions, we just I mentioned how the organosulfide compounds in onions are so protective against cancer and they also have effects to reduce fat storage on the body. They have anti-angiogenic effects. And mushrooms, which are the most powerful foods against breast cancer. They have particular aromatase inhibitors that prevent breast stimulation from estrogen. And of course, berries, which prevent dementia and lower blood pressure and are full of antioxidants and polyphenols. And seeds, like flax seeds and chia seeds, which lower cholesterol and lower blood pressure and protect against cancer, like prostate and breast cancer. You've got to be crazy not to eat flax seeds. They're so incredibly protective. But the point I'm making is that these same foods that prevent cancer also prevent atherosclerosis and prevent fat from building up in your body. Because these foods don't let fat be stored. Because they, they powerfully contain anti-angiogenic phytochemicals. So they say, no way, Jose, I'm not letting you store fat on your body. They say, no way, Jose, I'm not letting you get cancer or, get can or let cancer be fed. And they say it in Spanish, no way, Jose. <laughs> like that. On the other hand, if you eat things like white bread and honey and maple syrup and sweeteners, you know, and apple juice, fruit, and if you eat high glycemic carbohydrates, these, the sweets promote and take steroids or things that raise steroid hormones, you're going to activate angiogenesis and activate fat storage. In other words, a calorie is not a calorie. It's not how much you eat and how much you exercise. That's not it anymore. Because this person over here could be eating less calories and be more overweight because the calories they're eating are the ones that promote angiogenesis and fat storage. And maybe they've yo-yoed their weight and ruined them so that's easier for them to gain weight. And this person over here is eating more calories, but they're going to be slimmer because they're eating the right calories, right? More meats, more sweets, you get fatter on less calories. More greens and more beans, you get thinner on more calories. Did you follow that? Now, greens don't just make you lose weight. They also are the fuel that activates the most powerful repair mechanism in the body. And that most powerful repair mechanism is called the ARE, the antioxidant response element. That's the part of your cells that remove free radicals, fix broken DNA, and remove methylation defects, and fix the damage and reverses disease. And it's activated by the NRF2 transcription protein, which also helps reduce plaque and prevent plaque from sticking in the heart. What I'm saying right now is the same cellular machinery that enhances repair and prevents cancer also prevents plaque from sticking to the interior wall of your blood vessels and helps remove cholesterol. Did you follow that? And, it's, and the same food, foods are fueling both jobs simultaneously. The same raw and greens fuel it the most. Greens have the most powerful effect to fuel the body's miraculous self-healing capacity. And those with the highest blood level of lutein have the healthiest blood vessels. And if your lutein level is high enough, no atherosclerosis. Does that mean lutein is so protective against atherosclerosis? No. Lutein makes green vegetables green. Lycopene makes the tomatoes and the peppers red, and, and lycopene, lutein makes it green. Lycopene makes the red vegetables red, and carotene makes the orange vegetables orange, but there's, a th there's probably a thousand different phytochemicals. It marks you how much green vegetables you took in, but it wasn't the lutein itself, it's all the carotenoids and all the phytochemicals and all the ITCs or isothiocyanides, all those ITCs that are so protective. But, it, but it's a measurement, the lutein in your bloodstream marks how much green vegetables you're eating. And people in the higher consumer of green vegetables have the least blood vessels. And the same thing is shown with one study after another. 
that if we're looking at endothelial health, the lack of inflammation in the lining of your blood vessels and the elasticity of your blood vessels. The elasticity means your blood vessels are supposed to move in and out like a balloon. They're not supposed to be rigid and fixed. And that elasticity, that youthfulness, that health of your blood vessels is proportional to the amount of vegetables you eat each day. More vegetables, less of everything else. Reduces heart attack and stroke risk. 